Welcome back. Well, when mother of three, Tara and Brumford, posted this picture last week on Facebook, it went viral, and it went viral for all the right reasons. Usually before and after pictures are supposed to depict a transformation, but in Taryn's case, these photos are both post-pregnancy, and she says she loves the way she looks before and after, and I'm pleased to say she joins us now in the studio. Good morning, Taryn. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. Just explain explain how this came about. Okay, so I, uh, I run the body image movement <clears throat> and it's all about teaching women to love their bodies before and after. And this photograph, um, I was talking to some friends uh, last week and they were struggling with the concept of loving their body after they'd put on a few kilos. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I would post this photograph to demonstrate to them that you can love your body when it looks like the before and you can love it after. Okay, because just to give a bit of background, after your third baby, mm. like a lot of mothers, you were not feeling so happy in your own skin. You considered, seriously, didn't you, having surgery? Yeah, I did. And then you have you had what you call an epiphany. I sure did. What happened? Yeah, I was really grateful for that moment because I went to the surgeon's office and we talked about fixing all of this up. And um, I went home and I had this epiphany. I was looking at my daughter, Michaela, and I thought to myself, how am I ever going to teach her to love her body if her mum can't do the same? So I wanted to be a positive role model for her. And that's what started this whole movement. And uh, you must be blown away with the response, with the reaction you've had. I am. And I, I've learned a really valuable lesson, and that is is when, when you're going to post a photograph of yourself on Facebook and it's naked, give your husband the, the, the heads up first. <laughs> oh, yeah. is that right? So he didn't, he didn't get the warning? <laughs> no, he didn't. But I got the phone call to say, honey, there's a photograph of you on Facebook and um, it's gone viral. We'll just put those photos up again because it must take an enormous amount of courage to be, to be that honest, to be that revealing. Yeah. Oh, that's a question I've well, been asked. Quite frankly, there's nothing wrong with that body, by the sure, way. Sure, yeah. It's and I don't see it as courage. I mean, that, that is what a lot of women look like. And I, I, I love my body in that after photo. And that's a body that's brought three babies into the world successfully, which is um, miraculous within itself. It Just, sure has. And, and then t uh, 12 months ago, you took up bodybuilding. Well, yeah, I... I I did bodybuilding for 15 weeks, you know, so uh, I decided that I wanted to, to push my body as, as hard as it could go and that's the result, what you see on screen there. Um, but the photograph that you see in the after photo was, was Taryn with a little bit more balance. Um, <laughs> I, I do like my chocolate and the odd uh, glass of champagne and a diet of chicken and broccoli uh, for 15 weeks was enough for me. Probably not sustainable. No. So tell us then a bit more about the body image movement that you started. Yeah, so it's about helping women to learn to love their bodies um, and I think that but how, sorry to interrupt, <clears throat> how do you do that because there are a lot of women out there who are watching you now who are not comfortable in fact some people loathe their body particularly post babies so yeah. how do you how do you really get that message across yeah I understand that because I loathe my mm. body too so I there's three strategies uh, that I implement uh, when I talk to women and the first one is I call it suck it up you know you've got what you've got and my boobs and my I call it my hot dog down here <laughs> it's always going to be like that because I've decided against surgery so I could spend the rest of my life going oh, I wish I had this or I wish I didn't have that but that's not going to change so we need to focus on the things that we can change mm -hmm. um, the second thing I do is I, I get women to change their language so rather than saying I hate my body I'm so fat I'm this I'm that it's about being um, kind to yourself and the third thing I do is uh, teach women to put their health before their beauty. Mm. So I encourage women to get out, go for a run, climb a mountain, go for a bike ride, and focus on how it makes you feel as opposed to how it makes you look. look. Yeah? yeah? So I, I treat this like it's a vehicle and it's not an ornament. And, uh, and, and I say also, you know, I feel like a rocket. I've got a huge amount of energy and that's because I feel so good from the inside. So it's really hard to be down on your body when you feel fabulous. So eloquently put. Congratulations, <laughs> Taryn. I think um, your message is fantastic, really wonderful, and I think your, your, your daughter down the track is going to be really proud of what you've done and achieved. So congratulations. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming and talking to us. And if you want some more information about what Taryn's done, you can head to bodyimagemovement.com.au and check out her e-book and other resources. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We love those glasses, by the way. <laughs>